Hi everyone, let's make this beautiful, enchanted, magic paper rose. It's like the rose from the fairy tale, Beauty and the Beast. This could be a beautiful display or a great present, and you only need a few simple items. Let's start by creating our paper rose. You can use crepe paper, tissue paper, or even a party streamer. I'm using crepe paper here, and it's about 2.5 inches wide and 18 inches long. Fold down the top right corner and then fold down another time. Your fold should be at a diagonal slant. Find the center of your fold and then flip up the bottom second half. After you flip up, pinch down and flatten. Repeat and make another diagonal fold. Find the center, flip up the bottom half pinch down and flatten and repeat again. You're going to repeat this motion all the way down the length of your paper. When you get to the very end, twist your paper to a tiny point. Now start rolling your paper starting at your twisted point. Make sure that the folded paper is on the outside as you're rolling. Roll the entire length of the paper. And look, now you have a rose. To secure the loose end of your rose, you can either use a small rubber band like I have here, or you can also use some tape. And here we have the rose petals completed with crepe paper. You can also do this with tissue paper. This is a yellow rose that I've made with the same technique with tissue paper. And now moving on to creating the sepals. These are the little tiny green leaves that are right underneath the flower. Make some jagged cuts of little triangles along a small piece of green paper. Then just wrap it around the bottom of your rose. You can secure with more tape or glue. Now that the sepals are on, it's time to attach a stem. Get a wire, such as a floral wire, and stick it into the center of the sepal. Then use green floral tape and wrap all around to attach the flower bud to the stem. Twist and attach the floral tape all the way down the length of your stem. And now it's time to make the leaf. 
Cut a jagged leaf from green paper. Cut your leaf in half down the center, lengthwise. Take a short piece of wire, which will be the stem of your leaf, and apply some glue to the tip. You're going to place this wire onto one half of your leaf, very close to the center edge, but leaving a little gap. Now take the other half of your leaf and place it on top, sandwiching your stem wire. This way, your wire is now invisible and in the center of your leaf. Press down to secure and then trim as needed so that you have the shape that you like. To attach your leaf to the main stem, just take more green floral tape and start wrapping the stem of your leaf Now place together with the main stem and continue wrapping with the floral tape. Now the leaf is attached to the main stem. Slightly bend the leaf stem to give it a little curve. Your beautiful stemmed rose is now complete. To make this rose even more magical, let's add some sparkle. I placed glue all around the edges of the flower petals. Then I'm going to dip my rosebud into the glitter. I just want it on the edges. I don't want glitter around the entire rose. Ooh, nice and sparkly. Whoops, a beast has arrived crashing my video. It's not ready yet, Fabio. There's still a few more steps to make it more magical. I guess you just can't wait to see if you'll ever turn into a prince. Now on to making the enchanted dome. I found this cloche dome from the Dollar Tree. And it had a hole right in the center, so it was perfect to put my rose into. I just wound up the stem on the bottom, or you can cut off the extra. I turned the black base into gold by spraying with metallic spray paint. To make the base look even more magical, I found these gold photo corners or scrapbook corners. They only cost a few cents and I think you can get them at your local craft store. And I attached them all around the base with hot glue. I think this makes it look extra fancy. I love the ornate features. And here it is with four of them glued on. Doesn't it look very elegant? Now it's time to place our magical rose inside the dome. Just insert into the center hole. Nice and easy. Here it is all assembled. Isn't it beautiful? I'm so happy with the way this turned out. It looks even better than I had imagined. Wouldn't this make a beautiful gift or just a beautiful display? You can hardly tell that it's made out of paper. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to see more fun ideas. Bye.